Today, we're taking it back, all the way back to October 2021 and our six-night visit to Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Maya, one of my all-time favorite family resorts for not just myself, but for my clients too. Hey everyone, welcome back to Scenic Views Travel. It's Asai here, and I'm thrilled to share our travel adventure at the stunning Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Maya Resort in Playa Paraiso, Mexico. I'm jumping in during editing to say that if you watched my video from last week about Catalonia Playa Maroma, I mentioned that I actually had a few other resorts I liked a little bit better than that resort, and this is going to be one of them. If you want to watch my review of Catalonia Playa Maroma, look up on top of the screen and click that button or in the description box. Uh, anyway, let's get into the Ibero Star. This was our first all-inclusive vacation and our first time in Mexico, and oh my goodness, do we wish we could have stayed longer. We had an incredible time, and I'm so excited to give you a tour and review of our entire experience. Let's jump right into it. As soon as we arrived, we were blown away by how lush, tropical, and beautiful the whole place is. It's like stepping into paradise. The greenery, the palm trees, the colors, it all screams vacation. My husband and I just looked at each other and smiled. We knew we were in for an amazing week. Let me break it down for you. The Ibero Star Paraiso Complex is made up of five resorts, Beach, Del Mar, Lindo, Maya, and Grand. The Maya, where we stayed, is the top tier for families. It has a Mayan theme with cool replicas of Chichen Itza, while other resorts in the complex have their own unique styles. The Grand is adults only with its own inclusive uh, facilities. The Lindo, which is just across from the Maya, has sort of a Tahitian village vibe. And Del Mar and Beach are all about lush jungles and exotic animals. This was still a covid -y time, so they greeted us with smiles, took our temperatures, and whisked us away to the check-in desk. We were offered a room upgrade, a junior suite superior near the pool, and we went for it. And boy, was it worth it. We were right by the main pool, close to several restaurants and just steps to the beach. The room was huge. It had a massive jacuzzi tub, a balcony with hanging hammock and a spacious dressing area. The decor was classic and comfortable with plenty of room for all of our stuff. And here's a quick tip. If you stay on the first floor, things may be a little bit humid and muggy. So try and get a third floor if you can. Okay, let's talk about the best part of this resort, and that is all of its pools and water features. Not only is there a lazy river, a wave pool, a pirate ship water park for little kids, a separate water slide water park area for bigger kids or adults, but the best part is the freeform flowing pool where on one end is the wave pool and on the other end is a gigantic swim afar underneath of a waterfall. It was where we spent a good chunk of our afternoon time. They also have a separate small pool dedicated for swimming laps and volleyball. And the beach, it's stunning with crystal clear blue waters, white sand. There are a few rocks, so beware and maybe bring um, water shoes and tons of palapas. And the palapas didn't require any kind of a reservation, unlike when we went to Aruba. So it's pretty easy to find a chair. Of course, again, this was back in 2021 when occupancy levels were pretty low. At this resort, you'll find a dedicated beach bar with beachside service so you don't even have to get up, plus a beachside snack bar that serves up things like hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, nachos, ice cream, things like that. And then in our experience, they made paella every single day and every single day the recipe was a little bit different. It was our favorite lunch to have during our vacation. I've heard now reports that they make the paella poolside, uh, but either way, make sure you check it out if you're staying at this resort. Let's talk about Star Camp. Star Camp is Ibero Star's kids camp and it is absolutely incredible. Our kids decided to try it out one day. At the time they were five and seven and we checked in on them a few times. They were having so much fun with their new friends and all of their counselors that they didn't want to leave. And they went every single day afterward because they were having so much fun. And the best part was that they enjoyed performing on stage every single night with all of their friends and the counselors to a different routine. 
This was a total game changer for us because we wound up with some unanticipated adult time. We were totally not expecting it. And speaking of entertainment, the entertainment at this resort was so much fun. They offered different types of shows every single night from a queen show to a dance routine. every night after dinner. Dining at the Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Maya is an adventure in itself. We tried everything from teppanyaki at La Geisha to a French bistro at Bistro L'Etoile and even a Texas-themed steakhouse at El Rancho. There's also a Greek tavern, an American sports bar, and plenty of buffets. Our favorite, the Japanese steakhouse and the French bistro. So much fun and so delicious. At the time of our stay, this resort did require reservations. However, the entire Iberostar brand will soon be eliminating reservations sometime this summer, 2024. You won't go thirsty at this resort. There's a pool bar, a beach bar, and even a lobby bar with craft cocktails and premium drinks. Think that's where you're gonna get your Don Julio and your top shelf liquors. Here's a pro tip. Bring your own insulated cup and straw and they will fill it up for you with whatever you want. And if you tip well, the beach and pool servers will make sure you never run out of drinks during your stay. One thing that made our stay super convenient was the Ibero Star app. You can use the app to make dinner reservations, view the day's activities, and even chat with concierge to make requests for things like extra towels and bedding. We didn't have any issues with connectivity, and it was a lifesaver when we needed to find out what was happening around the resort. Additionally, the included and free Wi-Fi was super fast and worked across the entire resort complex seamlessly. Overall, we had an amazing time at the Ibero Star Selection Pareso Maya. The rooms were comfortable and large. The pools were fantastic. The food was delicious and Star Camp even entertained our kids all day long. Would we come back? Absolutely, and we're actually even considering returning to this resort in the fall of 2024. Or we're considering trying the Ibero Star Selection Rose Hall Suites in Jamaica. What do you guys think? Would you weigh in if you think we should go back to Mexico or try out Jamaica? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I highly recommend this resort because of all the different things there are to do. And if you want my help booking this resort or any other vacation travel, check out the link in the description box and submit an inquiry form today. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next resort review and tour. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about the resort and I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, happy travels!